welcome. It's Kathleen from Cos Creations. Welcome to the No Bra Zone, guys. You know I'm glad that you're here. I had a paint and peep stop by to look at some of my art in my new studio, and she found a painting that she loved, but she wanted it in size big. So I'm going to try to get close to that painting. Let me show it to you. This is a sweet little fella that I did a while ago, very shimmery with some really pretty earth tones. And uh, she wanted a bigger one. So I watched my video um, on that one painting, which is why I started making videos uh, about six months ago. I wanted to record what I was doing so I could reference it, look at it, find my mistakes, and then someone kind of dared me to post them on YouTube. And that's how my painting journey on YouTube started. So um, I know that it's not going to be exact, but what's most important is the composition and the colors which suit her home. So that's what we're doing today. Um, I also wanted to show you um, the almost dried results of the last video that I posted because I'm a real fan of this painting. Let me, let me get it for you. Now this fella is still a little bit wet, but oh my goodness, I really love this piece. I've ordered a black floating frame to put it in and... Um, I was very, very pleased with this. This was done with the new pouring medium, which was Lucas Acrylics Pouring Medium mixed with Golden GAC 800 50 -50. But boy, did it produce some cells, and it said that it would. So those of you looking for cells, Lucas, L-U-C-A-S, Pouring Medium. I'll post a picture of the bottle in this video for you guys. Now, today's pouring medium is 75% Floetrol and 25% Golden GAC 800. Base coat is already down, and this is so yummy. It reminds me of satin sheets. It's got so much beautiful little flow and contrast in it. Although, when we're done, we're probably not going to see much of this. This is the Rust-Oleum Metallics, and this is the Metallic Champagne. Now, this is also in one of my cups. We're going to use that in our pour. Let's talk about our colors and I'm going to present them to you in the order of which I'm going to layer them in my cup. I haven't decided if I'm going to be do two layers or three. We'll decide as we go, but this pretty color right here my artist friend Julie Vatcher from Julie Vatcher's Art uses this and uh, I figured I'll give this a go. This is Sargent's Art Acrylic Metals, and this is the Aztec Gold. Really, really pretty color. Mixes up beautifully and easily. We've got about one part paint to two and a half parts pouring medium, 75% Floetrol, and 25% Golden GAC 800. Now this is a yummy color as well. This is the Deco Art Metallics Copper, but it was a little bit too brassy for me, so I went ahead and added some Golden Fluids Burnt Sienna. Just a couple squirts of this. Once again, one part paint, two and a half parts pouring medium. Now, one of my paints was a little thicker and I added a little bit of water to it. That is this black. I've had a hard time. I use the um, Artist Sloth Flow Black and White Acrylics and I haven't been able to find them. And uh, Amazon is gouging. You know, you could buy that on sale at Michael's for about $7.99 for a very nice size quart bottle like this. Amazon is offering it for $19, so I'm like, the heck with that stuff. So, Hobby Lobby had a sale, 50% off their Master's Touch. So this is the first time I'm using their black or their permanent black liquid acrylics. So that is our black paint today. I did have to add a little bit of water to it because it was a little bit flipped. 
thicker even though it says it's liquid acrylics whatever the heck that means now this is our next color and this as well is yummy this is a mix of the deco art matte metallics this is the gold and I added a little bit of the golden iridescent bronze to that to make it less brassy. This is our base coat color, which is the Rust-Oleum Metallic Accents in the Champagne. Right there. And our final color in the cup is really pretty, really handsome right there guys see how fluid that is leaves very little trace when the paint falls off the popsicle stick into the cup below and that is a mix of deco art metallics rich espresso and golden iridescent bronze so there you have it that's the order that we're putting them in the cup i will list all of this in the description box guys as, as well as the medium, the size canvas I use, the music that you're listening to, and if you all ha ever have any questions, please reach out. It takes me a day or two sometimes to get back to you, but I will always answer as best as I can, and if I can't answer, I'll send you to somebody who can. Cause Creations Art at, what is my email address? <laughs> Cause Creations Art at gmail.com I think <laughs> I'll confirm that guys so many email addresses so many things to remember this mind gets pretty full sometimes so sorry to be a chatty Kathy my last video I didn't talk and everybody said they missed me talking so there you have it there's some chattiness and here comes Rick can you hear that guys he just pulled up in the motorcycle so it's a good time for me to put some music on for you put some music on for me Let's get busy.
chasing all the lights and as the bass keep pounding on me baby i really want to make you mine i don't really care about love i don't really care about happy ever afters something about you gives me hope something about you Try to make it 